24 hours, seven days a week, 24-7, Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314-7291 or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. everyone, welcome to Mass Central High School girls basketball action. Lady Indians, the Lady Colonels of Clark County. Central comes in 4-0, 3-0 in the region. Clark County, a preseason top 10 team, comes in 4-2. Doug, this ought to be a good one. I, I think it's going to be an excellent matchup, especially on the inside. You have the Cornette girl from Madison Central and the Skinner girl from Clark County. Who I think it's going to be a real challenge yep. for both of them to stay out of foul trouble. And uh, I think it's going to be a really neat matchup to watch. The Skinner girl's already signed from VC, for VCU. So and she is an excellent player. She's averaging 18 points a game. And Cornette has come in from uh, Lexington Catholic and Came really in. been a plus for the Central squad. Cent uh, Cornette averaging 14 points, nine rebounds, seven blocks on the season. Of course, um, Cornette started her career at model, played as an eighth grader. Went to Catholic, and then now is at Mass Central. Now we have the anthem. We'll take a quick break. Be back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314 7291 or find us on Facebook or Madison County School Sports.com. Back to action after the national anthem, Madison Central's starters. You have number two, the junior, Emily Willoughby, averaging nine points. The sophomore, number 14, Lindsey John. She's averaging 14 on the season. Number 21, Casey Snide in the game. She's going to be averaging nine. The sophomore, Mally Cornett, as we said, averaging 14. And the only senior on the ball club, 41, Raven Kane. Cornett jumps the tilt. Controlled by Clark County. So this could be interesting to see the Skinner girl play. And there you go. Wow. Cornette averaging seven blocks, and you see why wow, right off the tilt. A lot of contact on that, too. Clark County starters real quick. Number two, Lauren Welch. Number four, Caitlin Williams. 11 page Turner. So going to set it up. Go to the basket is Clark County. Rebound down to is that Raven Kane. Well, Kane was matched up on Skinner right there. So it uh, looks like. Coach uh, Conley's going to try to protect Cornette from uh, foul trouble early. Both teams opening up man to man. Snod takes it, no good. Rebound to Clark County. Taken down by number four, Vance. 
Taylor Vance. Inside, up and off the mark, but gets her own miss, back up and in. Well, she's going to be a force. It looks like uh, early on, Central's going to have to send some double team help for her. Now comes a press. All the way down to Kane, blocked. Two quick blocks in the game. One for each team. Let's see if they go inside again. Kane on Skinner. Now they set up out of a box. Dribbles off her foot, recover. Horrible, bad pass inside, stolen away. Well, good anticipation by Kane right there to keep that pass from going inside. Kane recovers it. It's over to Snide. Down low, up and off the glass, no good. Nice save by Clark County. 6-21, 2 Clark County. Knocked out of bounds by the Indians, number 21, Casey well, Snide. Talking to both coaches before the game, both of them mentioned turnovers as a key to tonight's game. Both of them say that they've struggled at times with turnovers. So whoever wins that battle tonight is going to have a big edge. Three-pointer up and off the mark and knocked out of bounds to the Indians. Clark County preseason top ten. They went to the final four last year at the state tournament. Many people telling me that might be, be a tad overrated for Clark. Well, they lost two key players from that team, and Coach Graham said that uh, they have struggled offensively at times with turnovers. Ball handling has been a big issue. The players that uh, came in that handled the ball are the younger ones on the team, so they're a little inexperienced. Class by Raven Kane. Neither team shooting very well. Coming into the game, Central shooting 39% from the floor. Gets it inside to Skinner. Off the glass, sand in. 4-0 Skinner over the Indians. Clark County shooting 44% from the field under the young season. Coach Cooksey said that he wants the up tempo tonight, so uh, when they score, look for Central to press, try to keep this game moving up and down. Kane, way off the mark. Board by Skinner. Up ahead, layup, up and in. 6 Real nice lead pass there by Skinner. 5.09 to play in the first quarter. 6 nothing Clark County. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout with them back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. State Farm Insurance. Jerry Goble. ExpressRoofing.net. Luxury Pet Service. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Tatum Enterprises. Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Small car, big coverage. Back to action at Mass Central. Central off to a slow start, trailing 6 nothing early. Five minutes left, opening quarter. It's been off Skinner for Clark County. Snide puts on the floor, drives, blocked. Up ahead, Clark looking to run. Well, you can see what VCU likes in Skinner. Three up and off the mark, in and out. It's a physical ball game early on. Down load. Skinner, jump stop, off the glass, in and out. Rebound down to number two, em Emily Willoughby. Well, Emily came off the bench last year and was kind of a spark for them, so she's got some game experience, oh. but. Taken away. Clark County's really gonna pressure her. Anderson up, off the glass, rebound, off. Said neither team shooting well. 
Finally, the Indians on the board. Nice finesse finish there by Cornette. I thought she was going to go ahead and lay it in, but she waited and made a good pump fake and a little soft move inside. Clark County beats the press. Misses the layup. Inside basket. Well, missed, missed one open right there. Snide puts it on the floor, out, and in. <laughs> Lindsey Johns with the three. Central in a press. 2-2-1. Two, two, they wanted that up tempo. They get across court. And in the corner, three-point open, no good. Ball rebounded by the Indians. All the way, fouled. Will it be fouled as she drove to the basket? First team foul. Took it in the ball game. Junior Taylor Vance. She replaces number 21, Casey Snide. Made a man on the underneath. Get it in to Willoughby or Johns. 311 to play, 6-5. Central on a 5 nothing run. Up and in. Boy, that was a nice finish there by Willoughby. 7-6 to six now, Indians lead. 7 nothing run. Got the head Indians. and shoulders above the defenders and just took it on the whole. Had that nice left-hand finish. They find Skinner. Oh, too high for Skinner. She gets to rebound. Up and in. Break the streak. Clark County back on top. At six points early. Looks like if you Skinner. shut Skinner off, you're going to shut off a lot of Clark County's offense. The backdoor Raven wasn't exactly there. Pass was a little bit late, and uh, Clark County did a good job recovering. Drive up and in. Basket for Anderson. Averaging 10 on the season, gets her first basket. 219, 10 7, Clark County. Clark County beat Masses Southern Lady Eagles Friday night. 53 to 49. Southern had their chances to win that. Ended up losing by four, but had the lead real late in the game with about a minute to go. Didn't finish the job. Up and nowhere. Out of bounds. Ball was deflected out of bounds. Oh, it's Clark County ball. Well, Hardeman has been their normal starter inside. Her and Skinner kind of share the post responsibilities. She's coming off an injury, hit her back real hard on the floor the other night. Uh-oh, thrown out of bounds to Diamond Press. Well, this is the first game action she's seen in a while. Just a sophomore. Under got some, two minutes to go. Got some Clark County connections there. Uh, Hardeman is the daughter of one of my former students, and Anderson is the daughter of one of my former players when I was coaching over there. Wow. Through the foul. You know what that means, Don? Means to get no. That's exactly right. <laughs> We've both been around too long. Uh, How long have you been long. in a basketball game now? Count the time I played. Longer, longer than you want to talk about. I started coaching with Coach Frankie Ray back in 96. So. Well, I started my first year of coaching in 80, 81. Does that tell you anything? I think I was in kindergarten that year. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people in this gym weren't around at all. <laughs> Free throw up and in. 10 to 9 now, Clark County. As Taylor Vance gets the points. Time to beat the press. They do. And take it down at 23. Cornette denied. Rebound. Did everything well breaking the press except finishing the layup there. 125 left. It's a one point ball game. Willoughby. Over to Vance. Vance up inside, but she traveled. Kind of shuffled her feet there. Turnover, Indians. Change the press here to the little 1 2 2. The Diamond Press. Cause a turnover once already. This time they beat it. Get it down low and in. Nice catch and finish there by Hardeman. One minute left in the opening quarter. Clark County on top, 12 9. An official's timeout. Yeah. 
Looks like Hardeman might, might be in tears. Yeah. Well, either that, I think her back is hurting her again. The way she's okay. holding her back. So she's been in some pain. Like I said, tonight's the first time she's come in for any game action yeah. since she failed the other night. So I think she's suffering a little back pain right now. Hardeman averaging six points. And looks like she's heading to the locker room. So you may be right. Oh, God. UCLA cut right Down there. Down low. Good job. Kane up and in. Nice cut. We made a guard cut off the high post, and then Kane ducked in on the weak side. Oh. They hit her just perfectly. Accidental foul. Going to be the first on Raven. That was a nice play, though. 36 seconds, 12-11 Clark County. Looks like they're going to trap at the mid-court if they can. 2-2-1, two, two, half court. They get it down to who? She walked over the gym, no call. Basket. Skinner. At least eight points for her. 14-11. She showed good patience there, let the defense go by. but She's a senior. She is a senior. She's already signed for VCU and one of the leading contenders for Miss Basketball in the state. Up and in, no good. Rebound back Kane. Time is running out. Under a minute, no shot. Indians didn't see the clock. End of the first quarter of play. Indians trailing 14-11 back after this. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble. ExpressRoofing.net. Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hi everybody, I'm Samantha Burford and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Back to Mass Central High School. Clark County leads 14-11. Pretty competitive first quarter. Good tempo both ways. Uh, the key to Central tonight is going to be keeping the ball out of Skinner's hands because yeah. every time she's touched it, she scored or, or gotten fouled. And uh, Central's done a decent job attacking in the half court right here. And uh, I believe they can penetrate against Clark County. Cl Clark County's good ball club, but they're not exceptionally quick. Three point up and off the mark. No good. Rebound Skinner. Well, I thought that was going to bring rain. That had a lot of arch on it. Down low to Skinner, knocked away by, is that Snide? That is, and that was a nice play, nice. save two points right there. Yeah, it did. It could be big by the end of this ball game. Central Snide to drives in the lane. That's a jump ball, yes. Central is trying to bring Skinner out away from the basket. They're doing a lot of high post action as far as screen roll or some rubs off the high post, trying to keep her away from the basket where maybe if they get beyond her, they have uh, uncontested shots inside. Good strategy. Clark County gets it in. Down low to 21, nobody on her. She misses the layup though. Horrible job by Anderson. She took her time, she had more time than she thought she did. Skinner, as you said, now is at the high post on Kane. Willoughby, kick, Johns, no. Up ahead, nice, up, 
and in. It was a pretty pass. That was a nice right atlas there. pass. Nice bounce pass lead. Thought she was going to walk with it, though, when she caught it. 16-11, Clark County on top. Six and a half to play, first half. And looks like Hardeman's going to check back in, number 33 for Clark County. Kind of surprising. She was in some pain a minute ago. Willoughby's having a hard time getting inside, but Cornet or beg your pardon, Casey Snide gets in, draws a foul. Well, Willoughby doesn't have a whole lot of size. She relies on her kind of being clever and, and uh, her quickness to get in there in the paint. But they've done a pretty decent job shutting her out. She was able to get in there on the one occasion and finish with her left hand. But other than that, they've done a good job containing her. Checking back in, as we said, will be Hardeman and number three, Alexis Williams. Or okay. Six thirteen. She hits it. They'll probably press. She loses it at half court, but Tark Henry covers. They have to get it across. Finally, they do. Williams going to run it over to number two. It's Lauren Welsh with the miss, but shot is up and in. Basket by Williams. Caitlin Williams averaging seven on the season, gets her three. Extend the lead out to seven now for Clark County. Kane, kick, Johns, no, rebound. Cedra's got to crash that offensive glass. They do, and you know they've they've taken a lot of perimeter shots Up and in. early on. Anderson with two, and quickly it's 21-12 now. Kick, Cornette up and in, break the stretch. Valley Cornette with the basket. Johns had the assist. Blocked, who else but Cornette? Skinner tried a little Euro step right there and Cornette was there waiting on her. She's averaging seven, seven blocks a game right now. So she's, she's really been an added element to their defense. Nine rebounds and seven blocks. That's unheard of in girls basketball. Clark County drives up and in. Pretty little basket. Nice finish there. Caitlin Williams. She's having a nice game. Made that real nice long bounce pass a minute ago. Hit the three. Emily up top. Clark County has dropped into a 2-3 zone. Yeah. Kane or and Cornett on the post. One. You can't really tell because Central's not making any yeah. cuts right now. Could be a man. No. It could be a sagging man. Yeah. You can't tell because they're not attacking. That's a walk. No, they're not attacking it, so you don't know. But another turnover. Well, Central's Tom Kane. had trouble scoring the ball from the outside so far, so a sagging man might be a pretty good strategy for Clark. Coming into this game, Central is shooting 19% from three-point land. Wow. It's almost as good as Kentucky. Out of bounds to the Indians. This may be the spark they need with four minutes left in the first half. Well, they need to create some turnovers and make some shots, get back in this thing before halftime. Trailing 23-14. Willoughby. Hardeman got a piece of that on the way in. No, oh, in and out. Three and a half left, opening half. Indians trail, 23-14. Willoughby looking to kick. Snide, back to Emily. Looking for Cornette. Knocked off a Clark County player. Sent some tall timber right there. Anderson checks back in, along with Malaya Bell checking in for the first time. 
Yeah, she got in no man's land down there in the right. high woods. Got to pick your spots and be smart as a point guard. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Did not. Put on the floor, up and short. Rebound Clark. Well, Clark's got two good-sized girls in there waiting on them when they penetrate. Looking to run a little bit, too. Thought about the three, put on the floor. Got the easier shot, up and out. But rebound by who else? No, that's not. No, it's not. Not Skinner right time. That wasn't Skinner. Skinner's on the bench, but they can't allow other people to hurt them like that. Second shots especially. That was, that was actually Bell. Gets two points. It's a 30-second timeout. Let's stick it here real quick. Donald Foster alongside Doug Sally. 25-14. This time when Central needs to make a run, especially when they don't have Skinner on the floor. Right. And they've had trouble getting to the paint and finishing around a basket, and their outside shots aren't falling right now. So uh, it's going to be important for them to kind of figure out a way to attack Clark County's defense. With Skinner out, would you – Kind of go inside a little bit more and maybe find Cornette or if Kane. You pull Hardeman out away from the basket. Might be a good time to drive then. But 250 left opening opening half, and it it's a nine-point ball game. Well, Central's trying to run a little bit of a dribble weave offense out front, but Clark County's sagging back off of them so much that they really haven't been able to turn the corner and get into the paint very much. Clark County coming out of the 10th region this year. Not sure who the favorite is in the 10th. Well, according to Coach Graham, it's uh, Clark, Mason, Scott High, Bourbon, and Montgomery. He said all five of them, either any of them could go if they we get seen, hot at the right time. We seen Montgomery earlier this season at Southern as Kane up and in. Well, we saw Montgomery, and then if you remember, they had four key yeah. players out with either illness or sickness. Yep. So, uh, I mean, injury rather. Yep. And uh, so we really didn't see the complete Montgomery package that night. The 11th region, same way. I mean, who's the favorite in the 11th right now? Franklin? Franklin County, yeah. Franklin County, I think, is number five in the state at this time. Number 25, Alex Stanley checks in for Central. She's an eighth grader. You see that more and more in women's basketball or girls' basketball. These younger players, of course, girls mature a little earlier yep. than guys, and uh, they can play at a younger age and compete. But it's still a, you know, a learning it's an experience. Yes. When I was coaching, we had Olivia Terry, who became the all-time leading scorer at Central, and she played as a seventh grader for well, girls basketball, and you know, and it's an adjustment. Well, you you talk about uh, Lanham and Hayes down yeah. at Southern. You know, Lanham they were played as seventh and eighth seventh graders. Eighth grade. Two ten left. Twenty-five sixteen. Clark. Little box set right here. Let's see what they do out of it. That's our UCLA cut, and they duck in Cornette. Ah, Cornette. Good job. That's the way to run it. Nice seal. That was Great an seal. excellent pass and an excellent catch. Just like you said, she sealed off. She didn't release the defense until the ball got right over her head, then she would have caught it. She has really got nice hands and a soft touch inside. She's a nice-looking ball player for a sophomore. And she gets another block. And a rebound. Maybe. Yes, she got the rebound. Saved it in to Kane. Well, she's not the most physical girl right now, but you can tell she's got good timing. She's got good hands. She knows the game. She's really she's really having a good year this year. Will it be down low to Cornette? Up and off the mark, but she draws the foul going to line for two. Drew the foul, and like we were talking about, good time to attack inside with Skinner on the bench. Hardeman was on the weak side right there, and they were able to get the ball inside to Cornette. Cornette could make it a five-point ball game with the two free throws. Welsh, Williams, and Skinner back into the ball game for Clark County. Well, this is going to be a crucial 125 left right here. If Cornettes hits this right here, it's going to be a five-point game and a minute 25 to go. So they and need Central, to hang right in here with Clark Central County. Central will press if they hit more likely. Ah, off the mark. Uh, there we go. Three girls on her. She's got to kick it. Over 21 is off the mark. Rebound, right. though. Anderson had a good look at it, and Central did a great job of collapsing in on Skinner that time. She had no choice but to throw that ball back out. Willoughby circles it back out over to Wood. One minute remaining. Cornette inside and off. Got to stop the ball here. Oh, 
Got it up and over, turnover. Clark County had a player out ahead of everybody, but Skinner just overthrew that a little bit. 48 seconds left, opening, opening half. And it's Cent a six point ball game. Central's had some success getting that ball inside the cornet here the last couple minutes. She always, almost was able to finish that last play. Willoughby drives up and in. Nice finish there by Willoughby. She's clever around that basket. Uh oh, somebody's got a cut ball. Turnover, knocked away from down low Skinner. Well, they got 20, 25 seconds to hey, go. Hey, she's going to try it again. No foul she on that play. to draw that foul that time. Yep. You can't depend on the ref to bail you out. I throw a shot fake and shot off the mark. Well, I'm sure Coach Gray Ten seconds. would have rather held that ball right then. Eight. Kane checked it up. She had more time. I don't think she knew how much time she had. They're going to get a shot off, and that's not going to be close. 25-21, Clark County at the half. We'll send it down to Samantha Burford alongside Coach Robbie Cooksey. Coach, do you feel like you're containing Skinner in the middle? No, I mean, it's pretty obvious. She's doing pretty much what she wanted. I think the last two or three possessions of the game, I think we did a better job. But beginning of the game, she did what she wanted pretty much. Yeah, second quarter seemed a little better, at least in the end of the second quarter. We started trying to double and triple down on her. She's a hard player to contain. So, uh, you know, I mean, we're going to have to do that. We're not going to be able to guard her with one person, and we'll continue to try and do that in the second half. All right. Thanks, Coach. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Twenty-four hours, seven days a week. Twenty-four-seven Madison County School Sports.com. everybody I'm Samantha Burford and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook MCS TV and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube Back to halftime at Mass Central High School where the Lady Indians trail 25-21. Quick get some halftime stats in here for you. 
Leading the way for the Lady Indians is Mally Cornett with seven points and three rebounds. Raven Kane has four points. Emily, Emily Willoughby with four and four rebounds. Taylor Vance has two. Casey Snod has one. Lindsey Johns has three. First Clark County. Skinner has eight points and seven rebounds. That's going to be hard for the Indians to allow her to do that in the second half. One halftime stat I saw that I did not like. The Lady Indians are shooting 30% from the floor. Where Clark County is shooting 38%. So Clark Central needs to increase their shooting percentage. Big points too. Second chance points. Clark County leads that one 7 0. So coming out of the halftime, it's going to be Mass Central basketball. Central, um, that was a kickball that was not called. Cornett with them seven points on three or four shooting. So look for them to get it inside to Cornett. Nice little look back behind and in. What kind of came out in the one two two zone right there? Might have been a little point drop zone. Have to take another look at it. But, uh, you know, Central made a nice run there in the second quarter and got back in this thing. Turnovers was not too big. That's the second one, though, for or first one for Clark and a half. Eight turnovers for them, and now Central has tied this one up, 25 apiece. Coach Cooksey said if they could keep their turnovers under 15 tonight, he would be happy, and they only had five the they first half. They only had five half, at so the first. I'd say he's tickled with that stat. Cornette has to get out and guard a three. No good. Rebound. Indians running. Nope. John's up and no good. She was trying oh, to draw she's going to throw the baseball. Cornette with the steal. Starting out a little sloppy this Park second half. Park is real sloppy to begin this half. Back door. There it is. Ooh. It was there for a second. Nice to have that eraser back there. It is. Take care of your defensive mistakes. Clark County a little out of position there in their zone. Someone went to sleep, and Skinner was able to make good recovery. Bell checks back into the ball game. She's going to replace Welsh. John's going to run to point now. Clark County and goes. She gives it up. It's a man. I don't know who she thought she saw, but it was a turnover. Down low. Scanner. Out. Back down. Cornette works. Up and off the glass. Offensive glass. Foul. Well, Central done a good job initially on the first. First yep. post feed, they went down and doubled, made her kick it out. But then the second time, Skinner had more of a one-on-one -on -one situation, and she sure took advantage of it. Here we got a lane situation. We got to clean up. Central's got to put a player inside on the first spot. Central may need a front and back her. Well, they're going to have to continue to send two and three players at her and just take chances that Clark County is going to miss from the outside in the first half. Clark County only was one of five from the three-point line, so you know that's that's the strategy that uh, would seem to be the best. That's the first free throw for Clark County in the game, and they miss it. And she short arms the second one, rebound Kane. Tied at 25 with 6:10 left, third quarter. Kane's going to try to set a pick. She don't use it. Vance. Got it down low, Cornette up and off the glass, no good. Well, she didn't finish that, but I'll tell you, that was a great catch right there. I thought it. Great. She's got remarkable hands. Pretty move inside. Anderson. Anderson, four points in the first half, makes her six. Up and off the glass, no good. That was a nice little drive, though, by Willoughby. Gets it ahead. In the lane. Try to kick it. Just trying to feed that inside of Skinner and got hung up in some legs there. Cornette front and are now behind her. Kick. Three. No. Not even close. Like I said that's the best thing if they can force Clark County to shoot some outside shots. Clark County is uh you know, they central fronted the post that time, 
And Central had really good help on the back side. Let's see. Kane, quick shot. She didn't even set her feet. Out of bounds. Well, let's see the next time if they run that box set again. If they don't flash the weak side block high and take that help away, which would give the opportunity for a lob in the Skinner. Let's see if they make that adjustment. 2-2-1, two, two, full court press. And she just dribbles it up the court. Kick it out. That was almost a walk. Looked like it to me. Just going to drive, drive, up and in. Basket for Welsh. 29-25 now, Clark County. 4.25 to go, third quarter. Willow, our cornet down low. Three ball short, hit front iron. Well, I'll tell you what, that's textbook block out there by Clark County. Again, she got blocked by the backboard. Out of bounds to the Indians. I think Cornette may have got a piece of that first one. She may have deflected that. Hardeman back in. She's going to play spell. Well, I guess this is Clark County's version of the Twin Towers with Hardeman and Skinner both in there. That's a big lineup. See if Hardeman can stay in the game. You know, she left first half with the, what we're going to assume is a back injury. Yeah, it's a travel. Turnover. So that's one thing Central can't do is turn it over. On force turnovers yeah. like that. She was trying to get in there and draw that foul. And I thought she had some contact there, but she didn't call it. Hit down. A slow jump. Wow. A little late call there. It's but I'll send Taylor to the line for two, I guess. I think Raven may have clipped her on the arm just a little bit. But it was a little late whistle, like it you say. Late. but. Number 30, Candy Everly at the table. She'll check in right now. Paige Taylor at the line right now is a senior that uh, was part of that state tournament experience that Clark yeah. County had last year. They had a great run into the semifinals of the state tournament down in Bowling Green. So those girls have a little mental edge over uh, the rest of the team. It's kind of like Central, you know, last year they had yeah. those kids coming off the state yeah. tournament run. It gives you a little bit of extra confidence when it you've does. been through all that. You know, it's a big thing to get over that hump and win the region. Once you do it, you feel undefeatable. You know, you've got all the confidence, swagger. Ball was tipped, taken away by Clark. Going to drive in. No. Tried to draw the foul, couldn't get it. Up and in for number 12. Malaya Bell. And we've got another headband off. I bet you used to wear one of those headbands when you played. No, I was I was too I was too old school. That's over and back. Cornette forgot where she was. No headbands, no wristbands, <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah. Another on forced silly turnover yeah. for Central there. She just didn't know where she was on the court right there. She caught it just across the line and when she reversed the ball, she put it back in the back court. <clears throat> Central down seven with three fourteen to play in the third quarter. Nice little cut, nothing there. Little cross screen underneath, and up and in. Well, they run that UCLA rub there on the high post, and when you cross screen, you got the little guard screening for the big. So, if they switch it, you've got a a, a little mismatch. little guard on the uh, Skinner girl coming across. Nice pass right there. And Skinner up and fouled. I wouldn't classify that as a bad foul, Cornet challenge the shot. She was going to have the layup, so. Make her earn it. That's one of those fouls. That She's done she, missed one free throw. That's right. She missed two a minute ago. And, uh, yeah. So put her back on the line, make her earn it, instead of giving the layup. It's only her first, I believe. Three fouls on the Indians' second half so far. Well, tonight we may have seen her Achilles heel here. She's missing free throws. She has. Caitlin Williams back into the ball game for Clark County. Something about her shot doesn't look right. She's got a little, little arc little in her flat, back or something. Flat. Yeah. 2.43 left. Clark Central trails. 1-2-2 two, two zone. They started off the second half with this, and Central made a little run. They Ooh. switched out of it. Knocked out of bounds. So the good ball fake comes in there. 
for Willoughby. Well, after tying it up, the Indians have fallen behind by nine now. Corner, 235 corner, to corner. go. Nope. Third quarter. Inbound to Everly. Back over to Willoughby. Snide has it. The zone's not sure how to attack it. Wow. That wasn't it. Everly. Double double. Roll. Hard for Central's players to get that shot over their uh, inside players of Clark County right now. I think they're intimidated by Skinner down there. They don't want to have it rejected. They they may be, and you know, both teams really need to get hot from that three point line and loosen that defense up inside. Something neither one's done all season long so far. Well, you know both coaches know that too, so they're they're gearing their defenses for you. the inside. You can have that three-point shot all night until you prove you can knock it down. Well, this defense right here, one, two, two. The baseline is the weak area, and Central There's put a three. three on the baseline right then. Yes! Hit every piece of the rim for Johns, but it goes down. Press. She got in front of her. Nice seal by – oh, they're going to call the offense foul. Boy. I was say, that was close. Yeah. Well, Hardeman sealed her off. I thought that was bad and, uh, close. Kane back into the ball game. Facing Everly. Didn't know about that you foul. You don't see that called very uh -uh. often. That I was, thought she sealed her nicely. Marginal. Yeah. It's like a pick in football. You don't see it called very often. But That's right. 34-28 now. Minute 40 left, third quarter. Clark County leads. He felt good. Yes. Well, that's going to loosen that defense up a little bit. Look for Clark County to switch up next time and come out of that zone. We'll see. Two threes now in the last two trips. And it's a three-point ball game. Got behind the defense. Rejected, but right back into the hands of Skinner. Well, for all you young kids out there, that's a great example of following the play. You're never out of a play till the ball goes in, and Skinner just followed that in and cleaned up the garbage and had easy two. Taken away, take out of bounds over to Clark County. Nice effort. Got to love the hustle on both ends, both teams. 58 seconds, third quarter. Clark County trying to beat the press, and they do. Got a two-on-one. And Hardeman with the basket. Let Diamond press. If you can get it over the uh, first trap, you usually have the numbers. Back out to a seven-point advantage. And Clark County switched into that man-to-man -man just like we were talking about. Kane, nothing, kick it. 25 seconds, plenty of Let's time. Central just holds for one right here. No sense getting Cornette's in a hurry. Cornette's gonna set a high screen. No. Not her, not a place for her to go. Well, I'll tell you what, she got bailed out right there. She was going in among the, the, the trees. Giants. Yeah, that's not where Willoughby's game's going to go. Well, when the, in the game situation here, you got 12 seconds to go. If you miss, you're going to give Clark County an extra possession. Yep. And they're going to get an extra possession right now anyway. She at least gets to go to the line. But if that ball had stayed in play and they hadn't called the foul, then you give them another opportunity down here. 12.6 on the clock, 38-32. And Clark sends the girl back deep. Lindsey Johns picked that up. She missed a second, out of bounds to Clark County, so now they can at least set up a press. 11.1 left. Make them use that clock in the front court, and they are. Nine, eight. Oh, she's up the sideline. Six, five, layup. Nice recover by Cornette, two. And they draw the foul with 1.6 left on the clock. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a clear lane to the basket, and Cornette came out of nowhere and blocked that shot, but they just didn't clean up the garbage. They had, they needed to cut her off on that sideline there. She just had a clean, like you said, clean path. Yep. No one ever stopped the ball. First rule of defense, stop the ball. So it's going to be 1.6. She finally hits a free throw. Returning for GRC, number five, Kylie Murray, and number two, Lauren Welsh. Back out to seven. 
This can make it an eight-point ball game. Well, neither team's in the bonus right now. So Clark County can be aggressive and not worry about a foul hurting them. 1.6 seconds can be hard for Central. Get a good look. Especially when they're going to press them like this. So, yep. This. Yep. End of the third quarter. Clark County on top, 40 to 32. Back for the fourth quarter after this. Time out. A special thank you to our great sponsors Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service. Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Back to Mass Central High School. Indians trail 40 to 32 going into the fourth quarter. Most Central's got to race this eight point deficit somehow. They do, and it's going to be key for them to create some turnovers. You know, when you're, when you're talking about pressing a team, when you trap, you've got to recover out of the trap and sprint. And uh, Central has got to do a good job making sure when they do press, if they don't create the turnover, they've got to recover back and set their defense. And there at the end of the quarter, they gave up some stuff at the end of, you know, at the back end of their press. Clark County's dribbling the ball up top. They're trying to get some back screen action off of their weave. They've been took 30 seconds off the clock. Well, Central's in there man to man, and you know they. Well, I think they're gonna try to get that five count up top, but uh oh. Well, that's all day long, right Cornette. there. If you let her catch it there. Yeah, it's when she touches down there, she's automatic. 7-12, and it's a 10-point ball game. Central needs to hit some outside shots. Batter draws Skinner away from the basket somehow. Try to back door. Clark County's man-to-man. -man. They're sagging off. Yep. They're going to give up the outside shot to keep it out of the hands of Kane and Cornette. Basket in and out. Nice hustle by Kane as it's going to go out of bounds to the Indians. Snide takes it out. A 1-4 high. Little cross screen there, a little X. Balls Out in. Out of bounds. Kick. No. Didn't have her feet set. Well, I thought Josh should have gone on and taken that to the hole a little bit. She had a lane to the basket. But she pulled up a little early. There's uh -oh. another two. Didn't even. They fouled her. They have got to find her in transition. They've got to know where she is in the half-court sets. Kane's and on her knee. But, yeah, I mean, she was just wide open there. Nobody even rotated with her. There some way. Kane's going to come out of the ball game. A lot of defense is communication. The older players, they know how to communicate and talk to each other and, and eliminate situations where someone doesn't know who they're guarding or if there's switches, they got to communicate. They got to call out screens. And all that has to do with talking on the floor. Hey. I coach girls for, I don't know, eight years. They will talk off the floor all day. You can't shut them up. But when they get on, on the court, they're like mice. When they won't say a word. Coach, and they'll tell you communication on the floor is instrumental to any defense. She hits them. It's 44-32. Well, Clark's backed off their press. They're just content to fall back and sag in their man-to-man. -man. No, 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 no. It's not for Willoughby. Skinner against Cornette. Oh, nice little slip screen. Inside and good. Well, Central may be thinking about a timeout right now. They need to get organized. They're down 14. And they don't want to hit that panic button yet. There's still plenty of time. Yeah, six minutes left, fourth quarter. Like I said, down 14, though. Well, the more Willoughby plays, she'll learn as she penetrates there that you know, against bigger girls, she's going to have to go in with the ideal of passing instead of scoring. Lindsay wants to go all right. That's a – oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a good no call. <laughs> but we're going to get free throws out of it. 
Mr. Andy, Mr. Andy Dunn on the call right there. One of my <laughs> yep. former players. Oh, is he? Yes, he is. Bo Queen and Kenny Gant used yep. to call games when I was uh, coaching. So I remember Bo Queen. Well, Kenny Gant's one of the best. Bo's Central's. been around 29 years. And yep, I know. They got to hit these free throws, though. That's well, a they, given. They can't afford to give up these opportunities right here. It's clock stopped. That's just a given. Clark came with a girl back deep, but that allows them to set up their press. Or fans for covers. They beat the press. Now they got a hustle back. Oh, it's a turnover, Clark County. You know, when that ball gets in front of you, you've got to sprint you and catch run. up with the ball and get your defense set. Sometimes no reason. you can get a back tip, or if there's an early shot, you're there in position to rebound. And that's hurt them a few times tonight. No reason somebody dribbling should beat you down the floor when you're sprinting as fast as you can. Vance up and off the glass and out. Rebound, though, inside, off, no good. It's missing too many easy ones tonight. Well, John's missed an open play Turnover. when she first caught it. Turnover. Yep. Out of bounds, though, stays with Central. By the way, we want to wish Lindsay a happy birthday today. Yeah. 16th birthday. I heard that coming out of timeout. 16th birthday for Lindsay Johns. Comes Hardman back in. Vance out, Kane back in for the Central. 46-33, 5-12 to play in the fourth quarter. Cornette, when she cut, they just collapsed on her. Oh. Don't know about that call either. Well, they're going to step to Diamond Press. That, been a, that might have been a makeup from the other. Hardeman back deep, so. So if they can beat it, and they have, they throw it at her feet, though. Turn up. Nope. Up and in. I thought that might have been a turnover. Anderson with the basket. 4.50 left. It's 48-33 now. Clark's doing a really good job defending that high post screening action. Stepping out and hedging hard, making the yep. guard go wide. Yep. Johns turns it over. Up ahead, number two. Yeah, they need a timeout. 50 to 33, it's out to 17. Timeout central. 427 left. We'll take it with them. A special thank you to our great sponsors Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank. First Gear and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call 314 7291 or find us on Facebook or Madison County School Sports.com. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out scenic-cabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our Cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full-service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Back to Mass Central, fourth quarter. Indians trailing by 17 now. It's a big deficit. See how the young Indians do. Well, they got their work cut out for them. And, you know, they may not get back in this game, but they've got to play every possession. It's a good caliber competition that they're seeing tonight. And, uh, you know, just keep chipping away and see what happens. You never know. Port said, County still the man to man. No, Central is young. I said 41. Raven Kane is the only senior, so. 
Central may take a few games like this, but as long as you improve every night out. Coach Cooks, he was talking about their inexperience before the game, and he said, you know, any time that a defense makes a change on them so far. Kane have, with the miss in and out. They have a couple possessions where they nice have Nice hustle. Snod, up and in, count it. That's the hustle you want to see right there. Down 17, still playing hard. You've got to. And that, that should be, no matter what the time and score is, you got to keep playing as hard as you can. Every possession is an opportunity to build for your postseason. That's the way you got to look at nice it. Nice offensive glass in in for Kane. Hardman went to sleep right there, so they uh, chipped away four points real quick. Just got to stop the ball. No one stopping ball. Inside. Nice block by Cornette. They kick it back out for the three. And they finally get one to fall. Well, Anderson knew that was in as soon as it left her hand. She started running back the other way. Real nice release on that shot. Now you chip away four, they get three of it back, though. Yeah, that, That's heartbreaking, you know. It kind of takes the wind out of yourself. It does. Kane. Up and off. Rebound Skinner. That Skinner is a nice player. She does. She does a good job for him all the way around, offensively and defensively. She's had several block shots She's tonight. Hits the glass hard. Now there's an example right there of Cornette. Just not there physically yet. She got her hands on that yep. rebound, a little bit off balance, and uh, they were able to knock it away from her. In a year or two, they won't be able to do that. John's off. Rebound. Cardinals. 2.38 to play in the fourth quarter. With the exception of those two three-pointers there early in the half, Central just haven't had the perimeter game to uh, loosen up that defense. Coming in, that was a problem shooting, what I say, 19% on the season. Boy, that was nice execution right there. Clark County. Trying to get it ahead, pushing up and in. Willoughby, Willoughby. Willoughby with the basket. There's our girl Willoughby. She keeps taking it right to the hole. 55-39, two minutes. Nice little back screen. Nothing with it. Another screen, nice screen. And Kane with the foul. Well, what they do on that, they take the ball to one side and they back screen the weak side, which is occupying the defense. Yep. And you got Skinner on the block. So it's occupying the help that would be helping on Skinner from the weak side. So really nice offensive set there from Clark County. I mean, when they're on offense, you've got to know where Skinner is at all times. That's right. And, and if you're on the weak side handling that back screen action, it takes your uh, you know, attention away from Skinner for a split second. Fans back into the ball game. She replaces Johns. 154 left. Out of bounds to the Indians. 55-39, Clark County. And Clark County pulls up. To 2-2-1. Two, 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 pulls her defense up. Don't Quite sure why. I get that. Maybe he's just trying to work on something, but. Uh, Gets Kane in the corner. Well, it should have given it up. Cornette, short, gets her miss, back up, and short. Knocked out of bounds to Clark County. Timeout, George Rogers Clark. Clark County sees something he didn't like. He takes a quick timeout. timeout. He's, he's staying on him right to the end. Yeah. Somebody didn't block lead. out or something. Well. They didn't convert out of their out of their press very well. If Central, if they'll get their heads up when they get the ball, you know, up the court into the front court, initially, they've got people open. They just need to get their heads up and look for make the quick pass instead of the quick dribble. 55-39, a minute and a half left. We'll take a quick timeout. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Tatum Enterprises, Cumberland Valley National Bank, First Gear, and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, Give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. 
Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Back to action is Clark County inbounds. Kane is all over, looking to foul. Instead, they get the turnover. Knocked almost out of bounds, but get back to Kane. Pretty move, nice move. Well, I'll tell you what, Central's got a lot of fight left in them. They're staying after it. 55-41. There's not going to be enough time to win this game, but you got to admire you the way they're it away. Hustling. Get it back under 10 would be nice. Bench calling for them to get up, and they do. Nope, call the push. Foul charge to number four, Taylor Vance. Vance with the foul. I'll tell you what, Coach Graham's not taking any chances. He's putting Hardeman and Skinner back in the game. 104 left, 14 point game. Good to see Hardeman back in the ball game after that scare in the first half. Yeah, she's uh, must be a pretty tough kid. Well, you know how that back pain is. Oh, yeah. That going on. It affects everything. I believe Clark County is going to press again if they hit right here. Won't find out. 56 41, one minute, fourth quarter. Several want to run. They do. John, nope. Over to Cornette, up and off the mark. Cornette missed it, but that was a great job by Willoughby right there. That's what she needs to look to do. Clark County gets it up ahead on the floor. Nope, they're going to call two shots. She got the kick out. She penetrated baseline. When the help came, she dumped it off to Cornette. Cornette had a nice look at it right there. So it was on the floor. She's at the line for the bonus. Good to see no quit in the Indians, even though they're, they were down big. Still playing tough. As rebound comes down to Cornette. Willoughby. Nope. Out to Kane. Kane up and off the mark. 28 seconds left. Clark County pulls it out. This just runs the clock out right here. Central is going to play the defense, though, try to get to five. And to 15 seconds. Don't think they're looking for a shot, so 10 seconds. I don't think they'll put one up. Unless you knock them down, they won't call the foul. Five seconds. It's going to do it. Clark County wins 57 to 41. It was a nice contest for both teams. You know, Central hung in there. Central played they, well for three quarters. They made a good run at the end of the second quarter. They were able to cut that lead down to four at halftime. And uh, they hung around for a real long time. And Clark County made that run. Uh, they just had a trouble. They just had trouble hitting the shot from the perimeter tonight. It's time to pick a Jack Burford Chevrolet player of the ball game tonight. And for the Indians, we have chosen. Emily Willoughby. Emily was Jack Burford Chevrolet player of the game. She did some nice things out there tonight. She took it in, got some baskets. Well, I like her tenaciousness, though. No, she's she's she was hard nose. She goes to the basket. She's not afraid of, of mixing it up inside. She's a, a real hard-nosed defender, and she's just going to continue to get better and better as the year goes on. And uh, these types of games are the ones that really build your team as far as experience goes. And uh, she, she got some really good experience against a nice team tonight from Clark County. It's a tough loss for the Indians, but they will move on now. I think they're playing the Bria tournament this weekend. So, But I believe this might be our last game of the year. 
well, calendar year. I'd like to wish all of our viewers out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, thank you for watching. We'll be back in January. We'll see you in the gym. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. State Farm Insurance. Jerry Goble. ExpressRoofing.net. Luxury Pet Service. Equipment, Sales and Rentals. Tatum Enterprises. Cumberland Valley National Bank. First Gear and Pro Signs. If you'd like to be a great sponsor of Madison County School Sports Television, give us a call, 314-7291, or find us on Facebook or MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Make the most of your trip to the Red River Gorge in Kentucky with scenic cabin rentals or delight in the mountainside beauty of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Whether you are planning a long vacation or just looking for a few days away from it all, check out sceniccabin.com. Our rental cabins and lodge are located close to the Red River Gorge and Natural Bridge Resort State Park. Family reunions, corporate retreats, weddings, and other large groups are very welcome. Cabins are available for small groups of two to six or large groups up to 15. All of our cabins are modern with city water, satellite TV, paved roads, full service kitchens, modern bathrooms and showers, decks, grills, and outdoor fire pits. Many have hot tubs and game rooms or gaming tables like pool or ping pong, foosball, and air hockey. A few have internet. Visit sceniccabin.com online or check us out on our Facebook page. Sceniccabin.com. Shouldn't you start planning that relaxing mountain getaway now? Small car, big coverage. The following is in smokeless tobacco. Cadmium, formaldehyde, lead, nicotine, nitrosamines, polonium-210, hydrazine, benzopyrene, and uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the definition of binge drinking is having five drinks over the course of two hours. When done excessively, this may eventually lead to memory loss, unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, excessive vomiting, alcohol poisoning. And possibly death. Nathan, can you hear me? If you don't want to swallow any of this, chances are the next tube you put in your mouth won't be a good time. For more information on binge drinking, please visit the Centers for Disease Control website at www.cdc.gov.